Basically, what I've found the best use of SmartBoard is is not only introducing new topics, but letting them discover new topics. Like you just saw, if you have it all set up right, they can go through, read it on their own, and start doing the activities. And then if they save it after they're done, I can go back in, open it up, and see how they did. So I'm not only having the, um, them use the, the, te the technology, but they're also I'm able to grade what they did. So I can also put that and make sure they're covering their objectives in each class. Um, the other thing that's nice is that we can bring up um, um, videos that relate to topics they have. Um, I've been pulling resources from other school districts and other even other states to use their resources that they have created. And that's the best part about this is the free sharing. Um, even SmartBoard has a web page where you can get lessons that teachers have put up there that you can alter however you want to use in your own classroom. So, I mean, there's endless possibilities with it, but the best part is how engaged they are when they're using it. Would you ever go back to just using a regular whiteboard? Um, I think as an old school kickback so they can see what the days used to be like because I have to talk to them, you know, do you remember when we didn't have smart boards? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, what did we do? I'm like, the dry erase boards? And so, you know, they think it's funny when we go back to things we used to use. But now they're so familiar with this, especially in our school, that this is expected every day. This is what we're going to do our work on. You know, as far as taking notes, if we're taking notes or doing activities. Well, this program in particular, if you, they actually have the updates just for this program, so it's got a teacher's toolkit, and you go in there and update it to see if anything new has been put on. So you don't have to go through the web pages or anything. Okay. I wonder if I can do this. Can y'all show me how to do that? Can you just hit it like that? Does that hurt? Well, they said, Mr. McGlowan, that I didn't really. You can take the pen down, man. Literally, you know, you hope it never happens, but you can. And it'll still work. Because they went someplace, and there was one of the. Someone had one someplace, and there was a hole in and it doesn't matter, it still works. We had two points. We usually have them use different objects to slide down. Like a tennis ball works really well, so that way you can hear the gripping and the sliding. But if you use a tennis ball, you know, it glides it real smooth.